Infantry, let's um let's upgrade some things. Can I even upgrade? No. Ooh, that was a good one. Okay. We need to f travel to this location. Yes, fast travel. Ba -da -ba 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 We have to talk to Kate now. Hey, Kate, we need to talk to you. Wherever you are, I don't know where she is. this interesting what the heck oh, I can't do it now so? I've done my rounds, as you asked. And? I found two hauntings in camp. Fixed them both. Two? Really? There are likely more, but those two at least are ended. All right. So, I'll thank you kindly, Mr. McWraith. You've done your part and earned your place. My sister should soon return. She'll surely want to meet you. Until then, you may stay. I'll take my leave. I do. So now I can just stay. I want to see if there were any other things but I don't see any so Kate came by. Thick skin is back and wants to see you. Really? Why did she not wake me?
Perhaps she resented playing the messenger. Perhaps she just wanted to make you late. She was vexed. Thick skin return has upset her. Kate reminds me of my sister. Aoife. Mm, Clan Macraith's little spitfire. What was at my heels? Or giving father's guards all kinds of hell. <laughs> she was a wee thing. Mm -hmm. But strong. And we big men in armor didn't they scare her. She had more brains than her. And more wild too. <laughs> Inspiring she'd beat me, Andy. She would have made a fine swordswoman. And she grown. Oh. Someday I'd like to meet my brother and sister. I'm sorry. You're what? Twins. By my mother's letters, they must be eight years old. You never told me this. You never asked. What are their names? <sighs> what? I'm interested, that's all. You're bothersome. <laughs> Ayomi Day is my sister. Tammy is my brother. I, didn't, I had no idea you got letters. I had no idea you got letters from home. My mother writes once a year. The letters take months to find me, if they find me at all. Until now, I've given it little thought. <laughs> Three Duarte children walk the world. God help us. Good boy. Now that you can count to three, we can move on to four. I hope the twins have more charm than you do. We are all set, right? Let's go. Did I mention thick skin was waiting for you? All right, all right. Yeah, you mentioned it. Let's go see what she's, she wants to talk about. I can give no order, but you return from the hunt and count a mandate. Oh no. Lo, the half penny redeemer come to save us. Okay. Thou may enter, O oh great savior. What is going on? Okay. Let's see what all the fuss is about. Hello? Excuse my sister. Underestimating her would be a mistake. She's tougher than you. You're alive. Long story short. Long story short, you had an angry ghost in your meeting house. It was fierce. I fell in the sea. And Taya died. You lost pains us, but a good hunter should know when they've become the hunted. What will you do now? Where lies the future for you? For the camp? For the people here? The plan was to walk across the mountains, but the cold put an end to that. For now, we stay. Till the weather lifts. The weather and the fear. They must feel the sun on their faces again and courage in their hearts. I see. Courage rises in the darkness, woman. The sunshine follows after. 
Is there news from New Eden Town? Is there news from New Eden Town? When you went to the meeting house, I gathered me flock and left. I've heard nothing since. Your faith in us gladdens my heart. I wasn't wrong, was I? Mm -hmm. But folk here still believe in you. What about the missing group? What about the missing group of refugees? What about them? Kate told me they went missing before reaching your camp. Any chance they survived in the woods? Not the slightest. Otherwise, they would already be here. Those poor bastards are long dead. No, no, no. What became of those who stayed? What became of those who stayed? Dead. Or near it. I'm neither foolish enough nor mad enough to go find out. She oh. makes you a madman or a fool. Maybe I'm both. Don't crow. Foolish madmen abound. What do you want with me, though? You didn't ask me here to watch you drink soup. What do you want? Kate says you have metal. I can use that. There's a service I need from you. You've something important needs doing and you want me to do it. No wonder your sister's fuming. Kate may wish her skin were thick as mine, but wishing will not make it true. Okay. Yeah, I'll go with the, se I'll go with the second one. Being the youngest can be a burden. Double when your big sister is the chief. I'm no chief. I keep my head, that's all. For this, folk look to me. Speak frankly. What would you have me do? Banish a ghost that doesn't exist. Folk here believe in monsters. The fear makes them weak. Kill the beast. Kill their fear and give them back their strength. Got it. Fear can be good. We can't spare much, but you shall have a gun and powder and shot with it. Mm. Tis honest work. I presume you'll pay for it. I have the means to pay you. My word on it. Hmm. We'll see how that goes. Why wouldn't the beast be real, though? You know the curse is real. Why not the beast, too? The beast is nothing much. A bear, perhaps a wolf. A monster only in the mind. Why not kill it yourself? Because when the Banisher kills the beast, everyone here will believe the monster dead. Wow. I'll hunt your beast, whatever it is. If you answer one last wee question. You may ask it. What's with the name? No one rightly calls their daughter Thick Skin. My birth name be best forgotten. Thick Skin better suits the world. Uh-huh. Fair enough. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of like this game so far. In the wild, we carry muskets. And we carry these. Whistle for help if the need be great. And the gun? My sister can spare her musket. If you can get it from her. I love the. I actually like the story in this game. Kate will be delighted. Kate will be hurt. I predict fireworks. Uh... You think Kate's feelings get in her way? Watch her reaction when you ask for the musket, then tell me I'm wrong. Okay. What's in here? A Melly Jam. I appreciate the follow. Thank you so much. Oh no. Oh yeah, let me get all this stuff out of here. It's, thank you very much. See you there. Let me get this. Oh, it's this guy again. I wonder how he, he's gonna probably hate me. Good day to you. Yeah, right. How are things, Mr. Carthy? The old life is a memory long forgotten, I take it. I'll answer no more of your questions, Banisher. And know this. 
If you ever again set foot in London, the Wet Boot Boys will be looking for you. Okay. The Wet Boot Boys. They sound dangerous. Well, apparently, you, he's mad at me because I killed his wife or his lover. I don't know. Not my problem, though. How are things? You're asking me that? You. The man who killed the only person I had in this godforsaken world. Bog off. Why don't you? Hmm. But you're the only one that has wares that I can buy, bro. What's the good word round here? Or the bad, for that matter. What would you like to know? What are your thoughts on thick-skinned New Smith? Nelly liked her. I didn't, not at first. Nelly showed me different. Nelly showed me different about a lot of things. What can you tell me of Kate New Smith? I know she's alive. Not like Nelly. Oh, I'm so I know sorry. She'll stand up for us. Not like you. Mm -hmm. I know that together with her sister, they'll do fine. And the further away you are, the better they'll do. Okay. How's life in camp? Tell me about life in the camp, if you would. You've a cheek asking me that. How's life? Life's shit, friend. Thanks for asking. It's all your fault for killing Nelly. I did what I had to. That was me, upon a time. I'd hurt people, rob them, didn't care. I didn't have to do what I did. You didn't have to do what you did. There's beasts enough in the woods without us being beasts in here. Well, too bad, man. Can I see the wares, though? You have anything useful to sell, by the way? Decide for yourself. He does not like me. You have lost the merchant's trust and respect. From now on, they they shall buy and sell to you at the um, <laughs> at an unfavorable place. This dude. One thousand? Oh, you are kidding me, man! I want to buy the armor though. But it's like a thousand though. That's just brutal, brutal, dude, brutal. Hmm. I don't even have anything to sell. Probably come back to you when I get a thousand. So annoying. I'll take my leave. <laughs> Good. Yeah, he hates me. Is she in here? No. There she is. Don't you have business elsewhere? Go. Save us all from the beast. Go do my sister's char work. I don't want a musket. Thick skin said I should have yours. You'll rot in hell first, and so will she. This should be good. Yeah. Mm. Are you so desperate to prove her wrong that you forget your own interest? You can climb your sister's pedestal or stamp your feet like a child, but neither serves you. What do you know of sisters? Enough to wish I'd not lost mine. I can't leave camp unarmed. She traps me. Mm. There's pain behind the anger. I doubt you'll blunt her temper. I'll go with this one. Measure your worth by your own mark. Your sister's estimation shouldn't it matter. It matters. I do great work here, but my bull-headed sister won't see it. <sighs> Thick skin measures worth by metal. The strong will live and the weak will die. She chose you to hunt the beast with my musket. She doesn't have to say a word about what she thinks of me. Wow. I'll bring you... Uh, you know what? Just let me borrow it, you know, and I'll just bring it back. Okay? Everything is resolved. 
I'll bring you back your gun. I swear on it. You won't make it to New Eden Town without a gun. And we both know it. I'm sorry. I wish there were another way. As do I, Scotsman. You may have the gun. Now be so kind as to leave me be. Mm-hmm. Whoa, this is another one? Straightforward and brutish. Seasoned hunter and lately new Eden select woman offers little welcome and takes no shite. A woman of few words, she is never, nevertheless a commanding leader. And the beast, we need to find out. Metal Gamic. Appreciate the follow, my dude. What? Hold on, let me check something. Okay. I have I completed three of them. The trappers, the cook. Let me just close this out. Back here. Okay, perfect. What in the world? What is wrong? What is wrong with... Are all these people like... I am so lost, man. It's weird, but... Okay. Um. So we need to go with the beast, Kate, and thick skin. I mean, hold on, we'll just continue. So this looks like the main story. I'd be glad to help, but after years of trade, though my mind is keen, my body betrays me. Yes, I've bought and sold it all. Furs and jewels, tobacco, wine, fish and fowl, sugar and spice, the corn, and with it, the Ucopia. Mm -hmm. I don't suppose you've any nails, but these ones are shite. I do not, Daniel. I do not. But I assure you that I have taken note of your demand. When New Eden opens to the world once more, then I shall move to meet your need. You shall have the finest Boston nails. The blacksmith may moan, or he may make better nails himself. This is the way of the world. A bright future awaits us, Daniel. Mm -hmm. I look forward to it, Mr. Paris. But if I can't get good nails now, there ain't no future at all. Red McCraith, sir. Your friendly visiting banisher. I met your companion in New Eden Town. Mm -hmm. Since then, sadly, things have not improved, right? In hard times and harder places, a man needs help. May I interest you in my broad range of useful and reasonably priced commodities? Sure. Show me your wares. You'll find what you need, I'm sure. Look at this. Some reasonably priced items. But I'm not going to buy them anyway, so it's cool. I just want to talk. I admit, I didn't expect to find a store out here. Wherever people go, it seems commerce follows. Things are bad. But as long as there's business to be done, all is not lost. You brought all these goods with you. You carry them on your back. With my weak heart? Of course not. I left New Eden with a horse and cart. After we ate the horse, I employed my fellow travelers as porters.
Hold on. You ate your horse? What? You paid people to carry your goods? Uh, my fortune is in my wares, and my heart and back lack the strength to carry them. Well, I hope the horse was tasty. Look about you. Folk here come through hell for this. My provisions make their lives just that little bit less awful. And all at reasonable prices. And on a personal note, I find that even the worst of times are made a little better by a bulging purse. Hmm. What's the word around here? What's on your mind? All right, I'm bored. Go on then. Whose ears shall we burn? I'd gladly know your thoughts on thick skin, you smith. A thick skin, but a sharp mind. Pragmatic, unemotional. Could have been a merchant if she had it in her to fake the charm. Okay. I'd be glad to know your thoughts on Kate Newsmith. The younger sister. I keep my distance. Why is that? We all have masks. I'm good at seeing past them. Well, behind Kate Newsmith's mask, there is a bomb. The fuse is lit. Someday soon it shall go boom. How are things going around here? Use your eyes and ears, man. I do. I'd very much like your view of the situation. I'm cold. I'm hungry. It's been weeks since I've slept more than four hours in a row. This camp is a shithole. It's worse outside. This is my view of the situation. Okay. Goodbye. I'll bid you good day. Wait, let me talk to him good again. Good day to you, Squire Paris. Uh, thank you. Show me your wares. I want to see what his it's status was for me. He's neutral. Okay. I'll bid you good day. Where's the guy that was just here? There he is. Yes, sir. So, Daniel, what's new? I take it you have questions. Ask them. Uh, about the colony. How are things going around here? You've got eyes, haven't you? Things are going to shite, and we're stuck in it. Even the dirt has given up. Look at it. Not a seed will sprout. But we won't give up. We'll work the soil till it gives, or we'll die trying. Satisfy my curiosity, if you would. What think you of Kate Newsmith? It's all show, isn't it? Her sister is the one with the real power. Kate's just a stripling beside her. Now, I suppose she means well, but hell is filled with them as meant well, so take no comfort from it. Mm. What can you tell me about thick skinned Newsmith? I can tell you I followed her here, and I'd follow her further. Without thick skin, we'd all be dead in a day. With her, we're the hunters. Without her, we're the prey. Are you sure? I, do. I wish she'd hurry up and figure us a way out of the shite we're in, because it ain't comfortable. Hey, okay, bye, dude. Nice talking with you. Goodbye for now, Daniel. Aye. Try not to die in the meanwhile. Wait, where's the musket? The flint's a little tired, but she strikes fine. Unlike some, she won't go off half cocked. Hmm. I'll take good care of her. And she of me, no doubt. Let's go.
Oh, let me upgrade it for you. Let me go upgrade it for you right now, actually. I'm gonna upgrade this for you, lady. 